Hey, what is going on ladies and the gentlemen? My name is Corbett and I will be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 5 of our Anglophile as England achievement run here. As per usual, if you'd like to subscribe or check out any of the links in the description for the Discord or the Patreon, they will be down there. Now, today is one of the fated moments for our whole campaign's history. It's going to be the first war with France. And I say the first war because, well, there are some complications with how the whole mission system works. Now, first of all, when you do the Hundred Years War, of course you get the permanent claim on the Ile de France, which would allow us to take this stuff. Next, the other thing, though, is that, um, well, we, we can't actually use that CB if we're already at war. Um, once, of course, we own Paris, we'll get the um, Enforced Union CB, or the Force Union, sorry, and a permanent claim on Brittany. Now, the thing is, we'll already be at war with a different version when we take Paris, uh, meaning, well, it's not, it's not really gonna, not really gonna work out. We have to immediately peace out when we hit this button. And then after we do that, we, uh, we'll have to go in for another war, which I think will happen in 20 years. Um, well, at most 20 years. That's how long a Force Union CB, I think, lasts. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this goes. First of all, uh, in our first war with France, we have to make a couple of demands. Um, I'm not quite sure if that's going to involve Paris. It might involve Paris for the, uh, for the achievement. And for the fact that it'll, out, it'll actually allow me to take this whenever I want, instead of having to be at war with France, just to um, just be able to take this, we can instead own Paris instead of just controlling it, so we'll see. Uh, yeah, that'll also give me the achievement, so I was thinking, I was thinking, we'd end up taking Valois and Paris, which would allow us to, uh, yeah, that would work out, actually, yeah. Uh, other concessions might be revoking the cores because, um, you know, they'll ask for them, they'll pretty much continuously ask for them back if we don't get rid of the cores here once they're our subject, so we don't want that anyway. Alright then, I think, I think it's the fated moment. Uh, we have 24 over here, 24 here, Austria we have 13, so the war following I think we won't be able to ask Austria, depending on how long it takes. Uh, but we'll start with, let's make it something simple, like Valois, or Chat. no, let's make it Ar uh, Valois, yeah. It's so Portugal, Castile, Austria, uh, yeah. Let's get this party started. Alrighty then, the war's begun, it's decent music for now, but I kind of feel like I'm going to want to, you know, swap it to something more fitting, more epic for the scene, but maybe not right now. You have, you both have one siege. Let's move you in. Shaft is, of course, farmland. Um, I won't be crossing a river into here. So we should get pretty much zero problems. If they decide to come and defend this. Um, Scotland has its own problems. They'll go deal with those. We have a couple of loans, or at least one of them. Yeah, one loan. That's fine. Not a big problem. I'm sure we'll have a lot more when we're fighting France here. Um, speaking of which... We have the numerical advantage, of course, and it's early enough in the game where France isn't broken yet, so that's nice. As for attacks, yeah, that's fine. I don't know... Oh yeah, France is also fighting over here. Their army's probably somewhere here. No, Genoa's attacking that. I don't know what's going on anymore. Something's going on here, probably. I was also thinking, just, just a little bit, kind of thinking... Um, as I sometimes do. We're probably going to want to break France's, um, break France's PU with Provence. Because honestly, when we get the PU over France, that'll give us the PU over Provence. But that is, there's, there's like negative value in that. We could just give it to France in a different war. And, uh, there's just no point in that. There's just absolutely no point. So we'll cancel your subject. Um, as well, well, we can't we can't vassalize, obviously. I was thinking a couple things over here: Aragon Alliance. Uh, revoke your cores on literally all of my stuff here. Uh, 
I can't take Paris like this, though. Hmm, I'll have to change some of my demands. Maybe the Papal State's fine, but then... Still can't take Paris. How much is Paris worth? Quite a lot, I'd assume. It's like one of the highest development... Yeah, at the beginning of the game. Alright. Um, oh boy. Cancel subject. Aragon. Would I be okay keeping Aragon like that? Maybe we won't revoke one of the cores this war, and maybe it, maybe the second war will revoke one of the cores. Because I kind of do need Paris, although that puts us in a bit of an odd position. With too much aggressive expansion. Hmm. We'll see. I'm trying to balance it around getting the achievement, but I don't know if that's possible this run. Maybe I'll have to pick it up some other time. It'd be kind of, it would be difficult, to say the least, to be able to do that. To say the least, it would be rather difficult. Because we also need to get rid of some aggressive expansion, meaning we don't really as much want to take um, land as a concession. That'd be a little bit dangerous. Alright, now it's time for the epic music, because uh, we don't have that on right now, so let's go for... Conflict in the Caribbean. I also got rid of that one other, uh, the one other song set that I just don't like, so. There we go, that's gone. Uh, new tech, sure thing, grab me some admin. Oh, okay, that's gone. The Heretical Comborendo Act, which will give us reform, which is fine, because we're going ang Anglican, so that's fine with me. Um, are you, are you not gonna... Okay, Scotland, sure. That is, uh, that is one dead. That is one dead Alençon. There is no survival there. Rip. There they go. Gone. Well, we did grab this. We can't actually attack them on, on Paris, though, but we can move forward and start sieging Paris. You have one siege, you have one siege, so there's no difference. We don't have cannons yet, so we can't improve that either. Alright then, it'll just take a while. Although, we have the massive spy network in France, which helps minorly, apparently. Oh yeah, of course, you have to put on historically lucky nations for achievements anyway, so. They have the luck, which gives them defensive modifiers. Okay, well alright then. Do we need to have the entire Ile de France area, or just Paris? To get strategic control. Hmm... First of all, we'll do that. You know what? You know what? I have an idea. I think I have an idea, at least. I can't really be sure until it works, but I think I have an idea. Um, that idea will be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. We're fine. We're fine. I got this. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do some separate pieces, which I should have done in the first place, you know, and not be an idiot, but anyway. Um, so, Aragon down here. Yeah, when we've separate pieced them, of course, we're going to tell them to annul the treaty with France, which would make this, uh, you know, unimportant here. In which, then we can take Paris. Once we own and core Paris, of course, we get the achievement. But that also allows me to, whenever I would like to, take this. I can get the Force Union CB whenever I like if I own Paris. Not just like controlling, but I can literally own it and it'll have the same effect. Which, coincidentally, is also the achievement. Yeah, okay, this works. There was, there was never a point where that didn't work, I just didn't think of it. So we're fine. Alright, then we'll take this. I will not attack that. That is the dumbest idea I would have ever had in my entire life. If I went ahead with that. Rest in peace, Portugal, but I'm different. For one, I'm not out by myself in the middle of nowhere, getting uh, absolutely clapped by 60,000 troops. Let's see if we can try and pull Aragon out of this quickly. Yeah, okay, so this... Actually, this should, this should be made even easier, because um, for all of our claims... 
I don't know if it will or will not make it this easier. 57 versus 52. I think I'll take Valois instead. After all, we are conquesting Valois. And uh, now we do have claim on this, making it easier to take and worth less aggressive expansion. Um, that will potentially bring in many, many people. Uh, Liège, Utrecht, Gerda, Aachen, Cleves, France. Uh, okay. That's gonna be fun, I imagine. Maybe we can drag on this war long enough to bring down some of my aggressive expansion with other people. Um, in the meantime, though, in the meantime, those various people who would join, Burgundy, uh, hates us. That's fine. But, uh, as for Liège, Utrecht, Gelre, Aachen, Aachen and Cleves, I think we can fix, so. Um, Cleves would be here. Yes, okay. We're going to try and improve our relations with multiple nations within the HRE. Of course, I believe it's... Is it a, uh, a British or... It's either a British or uh, a, an English mission, which requires us to become... What is it? Become the HRE Emperor or something. Something like that. So that'll be interesting to get done. Or, of course, we can just have no HRE and it works just fine. Rest in peace, Castile. There goes my fort. It's just never going to survive. Also, are you sieging? You are sieging, but it doesn't tell me that. Interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's keep feeding the innovativeness. Keep feeding some, some fuel into that. Oh, it's so nice to see everything ahead of time. Finally, after so long with Garbage Kings. So good to see that. Now, Lionette is... Uh, is a, is a hills, which is a little bit dangerous to siege in, so I'll keep this guy nearby. I don't even think he'll be enough. There's no way Castile's gonna win that. There's there's absolutely no way. I don't know why Portugal's even trying to help. There's there's no way, right? No, there's absolutely no way. Yeah, no, that was that's a death. That's a that's a big old yikes right there. And we can't even help because the fort's in our way, so. Uh, the Ulstrian Separatists, they can just deal with it. I don't know, nothing I can do about them. So let me go into here. Uh, with this guy, we're going to go out and actually hunt down some of the French ships. Or actually, no, let's go to, Prov to the Provencian ships. Yeah, get back here. You don't have a, you don't have a, a leader or whatever, so you can't do anything. Um, Are, are you going to... Are you going to delete your rebels or not? Because that would be good for everyone here if you did that. You're on your own things, so... You should be defending your land when you have the opportunity. Mm. We'll see how that goes, Castile. We'll see how that goes. Right back around here. They might... Eh, you know what? I think they will win this. Yeah. There you go. Thanks for defending my stuff, Castile. Real homie right there. Also, I think have extra military, at least for the time being. So I think I'm going to... Never mind, I can't can't burn it down. We don't even... Cannons don't exist yet. What am I talking about? Cannons don't even exist. Uh, let me repair these guys. And send the rest out to uh, Bully France, I guess. Okay, we're doing well so far. Uh, Aragon's still at high, which is... Weird, they don't have their capital anymore, but whatever. France's ships are, like, gone, pretty much. And Alençon is just suffering attrition, because it's fun. I don't know. That's paid off, beautiful. 14% on Lyonnais, and I'm not hearing my epic music, where is it? Give me the birth of a global empire. That's fitting for today. Come on, 14%. Uh, nope, I'm not the AI today, darn it. Man can dream. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's dangerous. Step off, France. I have another 21k here, and you know that because it's in your land. Where do you think you're going, huh? Franche Comte? I'm not at war with Brittany. Uh, sorry, Burgundy, though, so. Are you going to Paris? You might be going to Paris. 
But that could also be a ploy to just get me to leave here. No, the AI is not that clever, are they? It could be an unintentional ploy. To get me to leave this fort with only 21,000 on it, and then they could just clear it out. It would just be by coincidence that someone else is nearby. The AI doesn't think that much. Come on, 50%? Not, not quite. Okay. Well, darn. How about you guys? Minus 14? Not bad. Uh, maybe we can, maybe we can peel for this guy. You know, move back if he's going to get attacked. But Lyonnais is done anyway, so. Um, you guys have a what? No, no siege leader. Okay. No siege leader. Seven percent. We could help out slightly, but it would hurt more than it would help. So instead, we'll keep sieging. I do feel like they're going to Paris, though. I have that. I have that feeling. That they're gonna be heading out over to there. Uh, Aragon is looking all right. Speaking of Aragon, um, for the concessions we want, we want France's alliance. Your other alliance. War reps. I could humiliate you, actually. I would love to do that if I could. If that's possible, I will absolutely humiliate you. And that would be fantastic. It's free power projection, despite the fact we have more than enough, but it'll, it'll just last longer. We'll have more power projection for longer. If it's an opportunity, I might as well take it. it looks like... Looks like maybe Austria is having a bit of trouble, though. It's not good when the Emperor's in trouble. And Alenson has just just refuses to build, like, what, three more troops that you need? Come on, really? I thought the AI would be smarter than that. Like, come on, guys. It's a level two fort. You need a few more men on that. Okay, now I'm just concerned. Um, be because there's France never came up here. I guess everyone's trying to get Austria out of the war first. Uh, is there a battle? Yes, but I don't know where that is. Which makes me nervous. Oh, there's a battle between Scotland and... Okay, yeah. Scotland also, it seems, just never built enough ships. Which is... That's fine. It's whatever. They give us money. Alright then. So I guess we're just free to siege down all of France then. They don't seem to be complaining, so... Speaking of France, how many ships do you have left, France? You have a total of... Zero. Zero ships. Okay, so in theory... Uh, hold on. We can do something else. I can allow the, uh... I can allow Scotland to board, but I don't think they ever will. No, I don't I don't think they ever will. Uh oh boy. Uh that's a little bit dangerous. We're gonna stay over here though. Mmm, that is really dangerous. Are they really are they gonna reinforce on that? I keep going back and forth, but I'm gonna commit. Never mind, I don't need to. Time to go back and forth again, I guess. Okay, when Aragon gets too low, we'll be good to go. Seems Scotland will never board the ship for some reason. What if I... Because I know that's something that can happen. They just never will for some reason. Come on, board the ship. Scotland, please. Board the goddamn ship. Hello? Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, allow... Do I have to be out of sea to do that? I don't even know, honestly. No, they just won't do it. Okay, thanks, Scotland. I don't think that function, that feature, has ever functioned properly. I've tried to use it a few times in the past, but never once has it actually worked. So I'm not quite convinced that button is coded properly. Or maybe the AI is, the, uh, the AI is just stubborn. So, that's a possibility. Alright, you guys are at 7. Not bad, we're getting there. France is like... Pretty much willing to just die at this point. Uh, the Papal State is surprisingly doing well. Surprisingly well. We'll just clean up the last parts of uh, the last parts of France here. 
And then I guess we'll move over and try to protect the mountains here. Over in the Alps. Which should be an easy defense, but if they take it first, then... Well, <laughs> that's over, so... Aragon is finally low. Uh, they won't accept, though. Because we don't actually own the war score. Or, I mean, we kind of do. Aragon. Uh, yep, no, that's that's not really going to happen. If we got rid of Humiliate, yeah. Or if we just did Humiliate, well... I mean, we could, we could just pull him out of the war real quick. Are you... You are sieging something kind of important, but... Rome can technically finish that siege anyway. Not Rome, Papal State. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll just... We'll just finish this. France, the Papal State. War reps. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so Aragon's out. Works for me. We now have enough money for a naval doctrine. We get the special one. The wooden wall, uh, which is... The English one, it's unique, so it's kind of broken as well. So we'll grab it. We'll pick it up. All that's left is uh, the Papal State in France. Neither of which can survive for much longer under these kind of conditions. I wonder, would it be better if I gave my... Not really wouldn't. We have claims on it anyway. Seems France might be coming back. If they do, we'll just sit we'll just sit nearby a little bit. We'll just wait nearby. Put on the epic music again because uh come on. We're still at war here technically. However, there's not really much left to do. Uh since this feature doesn't actually work, we're gonna head back around here and see if this will be of any use. How about somewhere where we won't die? Um, there aren't a lot of places like that, but I guess that's one of them. So we lost this battle, but they didn't keep sieging? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. That would have been a free siege. Dummies. Okay, whatever. The fleet's coming back up around. Please give me this siege. I would love to have this siege right now. Uh, beautiful. Okay, nice. Lose 10 prestige or 50 admin. There's a clear imbalance there in decision, so we'll take the, uh, the prestige hit. Actually, no, we'll keep you here. Siege down. One of the. Again, really? Again, but it's all three of you? You couldn't work three of you together to do this? Okay. Alright. Not that it really matters. It's not going to be part of the concessions. Okay, uh, let's go and, I guess, clean up parts of Austria. The Papal State is still okay with fighting. Minus 18. Uh, well, actually, if you sit on the capital, it'll scare them a little bit. So if you'd be so kind, Castile. Thank you very much. Now they're at low. Perfect. I didn't expect my ally to be, like, that understanding. Uh, but nice. Okay, so all we're left with is France themselves. Uh, Ulsterian. Oh, they finally did rise up, huh? Scotland, if you'd be so kind. Okay, Scotland's just being, uh, selfish. Okay, cool. That's fair. I do that too. We'll use the Royal Navy to uh, bring us back around. These guys will come over here and pro probably try and defend a couple of mountains. Maybe. We'll see. Other than that, France is actually willing to uh, to part with all of these concessions, which is great, giving us Paris and Valois, uh, as well as Provence, um, that's close, but it's not, well, we're not quite done, we can, we can grab a few more things. France, of course, didn't actually lose very many men this war. We lost a whole bunch from attrition, which is absolutely true. Um, but France didn't, didn't really end up losing... Actually, I lied. They ended up losing quite a bit. Not like an entire full war's worth, but like a few. National unrest decrease. That would be, be pretty good. Yeah, sure, we'll grab that. 
Of course, we could take Subjugate France, or Strategic Control, sorry. Different, very different. But we won't do that yet. We're going to have a lengthy, lengthy truce with them. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll finish this now. We still need Austria alive in this war. Which makes this the absolute perfect peace deal. Um, revoking many of their cores. Truce until 86, that give us 14 years. Yes, that gives us 14 years to get rid of the aggressive expansion from this. And then prepare for the next amount of, of aggressive expansion. Um, yeah, you know what? I think this is the best we're going to get. The coalition members are few now. Which is enough for us to survive. Uh, yeah, I think this is the best we could possibly end up doing. I'm just going over it again. Just making sure. Yeah. Beautiful. And now, if we go and check our missions... Well, that should change rather quickly because... Oh, it's the capital of France. Excuse me? I thought it was just Paris. Well, that's really awkward. <laughs> that is really awkward. Okay. That... That, 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 that makes me uncomfortable. But you know what? There's some good parts to that and some bad parts to that. First of all, I'm still going to get the achievement from this. Second of all, that does drag it out to a third war. Technically. Not what I expected. Not at all. But that does... That actually does make it better. We need time right now, if anything. So I'm not actually upset with that. If anything, we, we truly do need time. Alright then. Yeah, okay. Because aggressive expansion is quite high for now. Which should decrease. Uh, oh, also. Okay, good. Because our heir, beautiful Chewy Shoot Tudor here, um, he needs to come of age before we can even do anything. Okay. Well, you know what? That could have been better. It could have been worse. If I maybe... I, I, I read it like 600 times. Maybe not realizing that it meant the capital and not Paris specifically. So... Yeah, I thought I thought it was specifically Paris. Fortunately, it's Orleans, which is like... Or Orleans, which is kind of close-ish. Or close-ish. Close or Orlene. So I guess... We'll get the claim or whatever. Uh, we'll grab another claim as well. Okay, however awkward, that's not the worst thing in the world that can happen. I'm okay with this outcome. Uh, sure. Finish that with cleaves. Let's also check to see what time we're sitting at here. 28 minutes. Okay, that's definitely a time to put in a cut here. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the war we had with France today. I'll come back next time and try and maybe decrease this coalition. That's going to be almost sizable, but nothing too bad, I don't think. At least not for now. Anyways, this is Corbett signing off. Hoping you had a fun time here, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give a shout out to the following $1 patrons, Quiet Guy, and an extra special shout out to the $20 patron, Shoo. You. you guys are doing an amazing job helping me move the channel forward, and I can't possibly thank you enough.